Hello again everybody and welcome back with CAC. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Polish snacks, uh, which I've decided to do because they're actually pretty easy to get a hold of and you can find them pretty much everywhere. Uh, like a lot of the discount stores here in the UK uh, will have snacks from Poland or other places in Europe simply because it's cheaper uh, for them to stock the discount stores with them because they don't have to worry about like brand name um, payments and such something like that, but um, Pretty much wherever you look uh, you're bound to find some kind of uh, section with uh, European foods and I've never really tried them before uh, and I thought I may as well give them a go because you know they're right there uh, They're fairly cheap and easy to get a hold of so um, Thought I'd take a look and see what we've got there so, for today's selection, we have got uh, Pea Snacks, Cherry Chocolate, Princessa Bar, Hazelnut Wafer, Advocat, uh, some Crunchy Chocolate, and an Energy Drink. Okay, so first things first, we're going to start with the savoury, as usual. So let's take a look at the Pea Snacks. Um, I know Pea Snacks have kind of uh, become a recent thing. You can just get them in stores regularly, uh, but I've never actually tried them before, so I thought I may as well uh, go for these now. They feel flaky and a bit brittle, like little, I suppose they're like pea pods, but. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, it's a very interesting taste being made out of peas, and it's like. It is basically just like peas, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's got was it soy and vinegar flavour, which is very mild. It's not overpowering. Like sometimes, if you have um, salt and vinegar crisps, it can make your face just kind of because of how much vinegar is on it. But these are actually quite mild, enough for the pea flavour to come through. And I suppose with the vinegar, it's kind of like having a fish and fish and chip dinner <laughs> but um yeah these are actually quite nice they weren't what I, I was expecting from sort of like pea snacks the um texture is a lot like the chip sticks that you can get like in the corner shops but um yeah very nice very pleasant snacks very good yeah i'd recommend getting some pea snacks they're very nice mm. Okay, so with that done, we're going to go into the sweet things, and I'll start first with the uh, hazelnut crisps. They look a bit like the um, typical wafer rolls, but uh, we open these up and have a look. Ooh, they look different to the uh, typical ones, they're more pillowy. Uh, seem like light and puffy, so let's give it a, give it a go. No, these are very different. Okay, the um, outer ring is like puffed corn. Um, if you remember the amebo snacks that we had from Tofu Cute, it's like that kind of consistency. And then on the inside, you've got like the hazelnut cream, which is fairly solid, but um, very nice. The outer ring isn't flavored at all, so it's not like sweetened. It's just um, a plain neutral flavour and then you get the nice burst of uh, cream on the inside which is um, a nice little surprise so the, these are very nice uh, a little bit dry you might need a bit of a drink to um, go with it but yeah very nice nice little snacks mm, nice and creamy mm. so next I'm gonna go with the little crispy bars I think there's Jeski, I think I'm not sure. Um, they look like they've got little crisp pieces in them, so let's see. Pop this out here. Oh yeah. So like very knobbly and crispy. Probably some kind of. Um, Rice crispy kind of treat. So, so, ooh. 
is already broken here. So let's see if we've got caramel to go in together. And uh, looks like biscuit on the inside, I think. But, uh, let's give it a try. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, biscuit in the middle. Little rice crispy pieces around the outside. All bound together with caramel and chocolate. Shows that they've got hazelnuts in, but I can't actually taste any hazelnuts. I don't know whether they're just part of the cream. But it's very nice, crispy. Um, it's a little bit like, um, was it Nestle Crunch Bars? That kind of crispiness. So it's nice, nice crunch to it. But um, as far as taste goes, nothing particularly special, but, but always like a nice crunchy chocolate. So yeah, good enough for me. Uh, next, I'm going to go with the Princessa, which is uh, said to be zebra flavour, which I'm assuming is uh, chocolate and vanilla for like uh, brown and white stripes. It feels like one of those layered wafer bars, so I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to get when we open it. Yep. See, there we are, striped wafer bar. Let's give it a a taste, see what it's like. Mm. Mm. I'm assuming it's vanilla, but it's a nice creamy flavour otherwise, very nice and rich. Mm. Quite surprising for a wafer because you expect wafers to be uh, rather dry. And it's like, it's not moist, but the filling is surprisingly creamy, like a lot more than I would have expected. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, very nice. I like this. This is good. Let's see if I can figure it out. Mmm. No, I think it's just milk. Just milk flavour. So yeah, that, that's actually surprisingly sweet and good for just, like, plain milk. I mean, obviously the wafer is chocolate, but it's the filling that has, like, the creaminess to it. It's, uh, it's really nice, that. Yeah. So, check out Princessa. They're pretty good. I definitely recommend that one. Lovely. Okay, next I'm going to go for the chocolate bar, which is dark chocolate and cherry, which is pretty much one of my favourite flavours. And I love dark chocolate as well. So, let's see how this tastes. Like a... It's already broken in half. Ooh, already I can smell like a very strong cherry scent. It's very nice. Ooh, nice little blocks there. A lot of space between each one, so they're quite easily breakable. Uh, there's a creamy filling in there as well. I'm not sure what that is. Whether it's just like white chocolate or cream, but let's just break off uh, one little piece. And there we go. Mmm, mm. that is a nice, very strong, rich cherry flavour. Mm. Yeah, like cherry puree probably, it's like really strong, really nice. The white, possibly like almond filling, I'm not sure, let's see. No, um, again, that's just like a milk filling, but, um, yeah, really, it's just nice, strong, dark chocolate, so if you like dark chocolate, that's really good, and the cherry is just, yeah, very, very rich. You can't see much of it in there, but the taste, you can definitely taste it very strong, and it... The sweetness of the cherry kind of counteracts the dark chocolate really well. Mm. So if you're a fan of dark chocolate, go 
Go with uh, this one here. Waiter. Yeah. So yeah, very nice waiter. Okay, so for the snacks, this one I've kind of left till last because I'm dreading it a little bit. Um, being as that it's the avocado flavour, which if you don't know what it is, it's basically like the uh, concentrated version of what eggnog would be. A very thick, custardy, alcoholic drink, which you normally sort of like dilute with uh, either lemonade or other spirits like that, just to make it like, you know, easy to drink. Whereas in its raw form, it's very thick and syrupy. So, um... I'm hoping it'll be a little more palatable in a chocolate bar than it is as a drink, but uh, I'll take a look, I'll give it a go. <laughs> okay, just break off a piece there. It doesn't look that bad. It's like, um, it just looks like a caramel piece, but uh, Let's see how the taste goes. Mmm. Yes, okay, much better as a chocolate. Mmm, that is... You can... How... It's it got like the very slight liqueur taste to it, because it is... It basically is a chocolate liqueur, so... Um, yeah. It's actually pretty good as a filling. It's a lot better than I expected. And, yeah, it's it's difficult to describe as anything else other than, like, a chocolate liqueur. Mm. It's very nice and rich and creamy one. So, yeah, that's, um, that's been a bit of a ple pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting that to be quite so good. But, yeah, avocado chocolate. Give it a try, see what you think. Um, I think it's good. A lot better than I expected, so... I recommend it. I give it a go at least once. You might like it. it turned out that I did. <laughs> so yeah, very good. And to finish all that off, um, I'm going to go for the drink. Wash it all down. Um, what we have here is uh, multi fruit flavour. Um, so that could be anything really. From blue, I probably assume it's some kind of berry. It's Bit weird having like a see-through can now that that's kind of what caught my attention and uh, made me want to pick it up because you know it's a bit unique so um apparently it's an energy drink isotonic magnesium words <laughs> other science it's full of science so uh let's see what science tastes like Ooh. opens like a can so let's give it a try It's odd because it says sparkling, yet it feels like it's still, but it definitely does have the flavour of, you know, when you have sparkling water and it just has the carbonisation flavour in it. The actual fruit is very mild. It's a very slight pineapple aftertaste. But, um, yeah. There's not a lot to it, not a lot of flavour. I mean, I suppose it might be good as a sports drink if it's isotonic, if that's the idea, rather than like an energy hit. There's probably not as much sugar. Yeah, reduced sugar, but <clears throat> it's interesting. Yeah. The flavour is mild and it's okay, but there's not enough flavour to sort of override that underlying taste of carbon, which is just... And there's not enough fizz in it to justify it being carbonated, I don't think. So, not one that I'd recommend personally. It's okay, it's not horrible, but there are better isotonic drinks out there. So, uh, I'd, I'd give a pass on this one. And that's everything for me today. Um, I was hoping to get more savoury snacks, but uh, they turned out to be a bit more difficult to get a hold of. The only things that I could see were ones that are already widely available 
in UK stores, so it wasn't really worth going out of my way to get them. Um, but um, I think, given the abundance of sort of like European stuff that we get here, not uh, regularly in the supermarkets, but sort of like in specialty shops and uh, other things like that, then I might, well, I, I probably will look into doing more European snacks in the future. Not specifically Polish next time, but um, maybe other things, uh, German, uh, Belgian. Uh, Belgian might be a good one to do a whole video on because, you know, Belgian chocolates. Uh, but there's also like Greek, uh, French, other things like that. I'll have a look around, see what I can find, see if I can find enough to make like another European special or something like that. But uh, that's everything for now. That's Polish. And keep an eye out in future to see more European snacks. But um, that's enough for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.